Hey y'all, and Merry Christmas. This week has been rich and textured as we have celebrated that which we have longed for over the last four weeks during Advent, and that is the coming of the Lord Jesus. The promise that God would truly dwell with his people has come to fruition in Jesus. Emmanuel, Prince of Peace, Lord of Lords, Wonderful Counselor, Everlasting Father, he's come and he is now with us. We hope that your time with us on Christmas Eve, as well as your time with your family, has been rich and textured and celebratory to this end. Hey, as we look forward to this week, we're doing something different at The Grove. We want you to be aware of it so that you can know what to expect coming up in our Sunday morning gathering on December the 30th. This week, for the first time at The Grove, we are inviting all of our kids, kindergarten all the way through high school, to join us in the gathering, not just for singing, but also for sermon and for sacrament. We want them to be with us for the entire duration of our gathering. We're still gonna offer our classes for our nursery age kids, as well as for our preschoolers, but for kindergarten and up, they're gonna be with us in the gathering. But they're not only gonna be with us, they are gonna be asked and invited to participate in special ways. So what you'll see on Sunday is that you'll see students in the band worshiping, leading us in worship. We'll also see some of the kids that are leading us in liturgy and in prayer and in reading. And we can't wait to invite them into this special gathering, not just to have them participate with us, but to really be a preview of what is to come when they become adults. And so we can't wait to see you this week. It's gonna be a special time together as we continue to honor and worship Jesus. And as we do, how is it that his coming should now affect our families as we gather around him? Not just during a season of Christmas or Advent, but all days and at all times. We can't wait to see you Sunday, and we can't wait to see how God uses these plans for his glory.